Yes, you can grow your own fresh strawberries. If you love strawberries and have a little garden space or even a little extra space in a flower bed, strawberries are fairly easy to grow and they make a great ground cover. They will help hold the moisture in the soil as well. When you get the strawberry plants straight from the grower, this is what they should look like the day they arrive. You will notice there are no leaves and they come with strong roots that have not yet started to grow. This is perfectly normal and should be the way they look when they arrive. If they came fully leafed out, there would be much more stress in shipment and being transplanted. The best time to plant strawberries is either late winter, early spring, or in the fall, depending on where you live. I live in the Midwest, so we're planting in mid-March here. Taking the plants out of their bundles and taking a closer look, these plants have a very nice root structure with very little bud break, which is perfect for planting. You will want the roots to have very good color and have plenty of them to supply the plant with a good start for the first year. Before actually planting them, I soak them in a bucket of water for a little while, probably an hour or so to rehydrate them after shipping. Before your plants arrive, you will want to have the soil well prepared. I use leaf and manure compost to feed the soil. Strawberries are heavy feeders and need balanced nutrition in the soil to produce an abundance of berries year after year. So starting out with well-prepared soil will make it much more likely that they will live and produce well for you. As you can see, the soil is dark with compost and fairly sandy. Strawberries don't do well in heavy clay soils that don't drain well. So if you have heavy soil, be sure to amend it well to allow for good drainage. Strawberries don't like to be in standing water for long periods of time. Plant them is pretty simple. Just a couple of tools needed, a trowel and gloves if you prefer gloves. Then I lay them out in a row so that they will have proper distance between each plant. Don't plant them too close together as they will fill out with runners and produce more plants each year. I start out with them about six inches apart. After they're laid out, they are planted in the soil with roots spread out evenly. You shouldn't bury the crown, which is the little top of the plant. The crown bud should be showing after planting. If you bury the crown, it will grow, but not produce berries. After planting comes the easy part, waiting for them to grow. Here they are just breaking ground with the first leaves. Then they will progress into making nice blooms and then on to little green berries. Not long after the little green berries come nice ripe berries. Now let's look at the progress of these March planted strawberries. It's now late May and they're coming along nicely. We're actually even going to get some berries this year. Normally they recommend that you pull off all the little buds and all the little runners which is something I'm very bad at doing because I don't like to waste anything. These little strawberries are turning out to be quite nice plants. I did order region specific variety because coming from strawberry country where it's much colder and not nearly as humid I knew I had to have a variety that would be uh, that would do well here. And here we have the second row of strawberries and as you can see there's some really lovely berries that are coming on. Let me just pull back this plant here so you can see how pretty that strawberry is. These strawberries are grown 100% organically. I use no chemicals in my garden. I uh, We'll use a little bit of fungicide, which I use neem oil, which is uh, from a plant in Austria. Totally 100% organic. It's a fungicide, and it also will kill beetles. It's the third row of strawberries. As you can see, these plants are a little bit smaller. We had to uh, make some more light for this particular garden. 
we start out with complete probably 80 percent shade forest before we clean it up to make a garden space strawberries will do well in about 40 percent shade uh, any more than that and they don't have enough light to photosynthesize and produce fruit but I'm hoping that the protection from the afternoon sun here will keep them from burning up yes I do think today we're gonna pick some strawberries and have Inga food cake and strawberries this is just an example of how you can grow strawberries in just about anything. You can grow them in the ground, you can grow them in a planter. This happens to be a half of a barrel that has a slit cut in the bottom of it for drainage and it's filled with um, horse compost and just native dirt that here grows on the place. Now that you've planted the plants, here's the payoff. Nice, ripe, delicious, homegrown strawberries right out your back door.